Clark County Sheriff pleads with the department for decreasing homicides, sexual assaults, robberies, all under his leadership within the past year. But there is still work to do as deaths on our roads have risen. And he says new technology, at least to Nevada, can help reverse this. A News Now reporter Ryan Matthews shows us his argument for increased traffic surveillance. Subject's non-compliant. He's walking away from officers. Metro police use technology to apprehend this subject, who they say fired gunshots towards a business from his car. Thank you. It was one example the Clark County Sheriff cited in Monday's State of the Department address to demonstrate how certain crimes have gone down. Do the math. We're up again. But not all crimes, specifically traffic fatalities, which was already on an upward trend when he took office at the start of 2023. Now, police data show there's been more than double the number of fatal collisions so far this year as this time last year. I'm tired of my men and women having to go out there and deal with broken and mangled bodies. And the problem is made worse by the slew of driving behaviors that come through this town. So much so police are even identifying the most dangerous intersections valley wide. It includes this one here at Spring Mountain and Valley View. Now the sheriff, he's vouched to try something different, even supporting sometimes controversial means of enforcement. The speeding and defying traffic devices, what he cites as the top two contributors to fatal collisions. He wants traffic cameras to monitor both, which some studies show actually increase crashes. It doesn't say that those accidents are non-fatal accidents. And there's a big difference between a minor fender bender and somebody who loses their life because of excessive speed. It requires change to Nevada law. He says lawmakers are already asking for his support, provoking a new priority this year. I think we have to have reliable, real conversation at the adult level and take the emotion out of it to say, is there value in this technology? Now, these cameras have unsuccessfully gone through the Nevada legislature four times since 1999. The ACLU has described them as excessive surveillance. Only 18 states in the District of Columbia use those cameras.